Welcome to your Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. We're helping 10,000 straight razor shavers, so if you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now, tonight I am using my ZY Grand Slam. Yeah, real wood scales, metal spacer, and that is full hollow. Very nice, inexpensive razor. Yep. And for a soap tonight, I am going fine snake bite. I need some menthol. Yeah. This is awesome, and it even though it has menthol in it, it doesn't really mess with your eyes when you're shaving, which I like. Now, I have had the pug blow me. We're going to pour that off and put that on as a pre-shave. Yep. All right. Now, hopefully, you are having a good weekend and being able to have some downtime relax, enjoy, be with family and friends. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Oh, and look at that soap. <laughs> and that's just the bloom water. Yep. Can't go wrong with that. Look at that. <laughs> excellent, excellent stuff. Yep. Now, for our brush tonight, I am using, get some of that water out of there, I am using my Omega 10,098, yep, let's go ahead and get that brush loaded up, yep, yeah, so hopefully you are well and in high spirits, yep, the world is treating you good. I certainly hope so. I do. And maybe you're getting some good shaves. Mm-hmm. That it would always be good. Yes, it would. Now, I'm pretty sure that soap is already there on this. We're going to just stop right now. Clean up around that bowl. And put most of that on the brush. There we go. Nice. And I am getting that a little menthol kick out of it already, which is good. Yeah. Definitely been a little warm here, but that's all right. There you go. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Good stuff. And this is another cold water shave. So just having the brush on my face is cooling me off as well. Which is good. So, I got a question for you. Down in the comments, let me know, do you cold water shave or not? I didn't until this summer. So, you know, I would be interested in what you do. That would be cool. I'd never thought about cold water shaving. And, you know, I know I have uh, some people and subscribers that do cold water shave. So I just thought, you know, I'm going to try it out. And I actually do like it, which I really was surprised. I didn't think I would, but it's nice. And you know what? I'm going to just put a little more water on that. I think... I think we can do it. It's just looking too good and I, I want to just work it a little bit more. All right. Now, there we go. <laughs> That's even better than it was.
<laughs> and I got soap all over my hands, but that's okay. It's all good. If you're new around here, I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, this is pass one, which is going to primarily be with the grain. Let's do this. There we go. That's good. Yeah, and that menthol is nice. It feels good. Yep. There we go. All right. Let's get this other side. All right, now I was talking to a fella today about shaving and uh, it came up that he actually DE shaves, but uh, he also was shaving a little bit sideways and cut himself. So especially with a straight razor, we only go perpendicular with that blade. We never go like this, that's not good. That will end in a bad day. All right, so that's the tip of the day. There you go. You just go perpendicular with the blade and you will have a good shave. There we go. Nice. Pass one complete.
That's it, right there, that's good. Now, let's get that rinsed off and see how we did. Oh, let's wait a minute. Here I am getting ahead of myself. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. We're friends, so not a big deal, all right? There we go, now, now we got it. You know, I'm always thinking, always thinking. And, uh, you know, like that fella today, you know, that was, that's something, uh, you know, that you need to really be careful about, you know. So, you know, when I started thinking about that, then I kind of lost my place. All right, so this is past two. Now, I do Street Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. So... Stop on by, check it out. You could go ahead and click on this card here to see my best how to shave video you've ever seen. All right, which we did a while back, but that'll take you through all the preliminary steps, and uh, I think it'd be helpful. I do. Now, I do get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So, down in the comments, leave me a question, a comment, a suggestion, maybe even an idea for Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will make it happen for you. Mm hmm There you go. Can't go wrong with that, right? Check that out. That is some good looking lather. Yes, it is. All right. Now, this is pass two, which is primarily with the grain. Let's do this. All right, nice. That's it. Now I'm using a light touch. That is all you need. Thank you. 
Nice. Here we go. Yeah, this soap, this uh, soap really has a nice slickness to it as well. Not only does it have good cushion, but nice and slick. I like both of those things. So for me, it's a good shave. Nice. Get that blade cleaned off. There we go. Pass two complete. Now, let's get that cleaned off. See how we did. It felt good. And I think we're gonna be absolutely where we need to be. Oh yeah, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's good on those cheeks. It is. Very good. All right, now. Get that dried on. And time for the half pass. Now this is just my jawline and my neck, and it will be against the grain. Yep. Now if you haven't seen the half pass revealed, click on this card here. Yep, you can check that out and it'll give you more detail about what we're doing yeah oh man incredible yeah and just more soap than you can possibly use in one shade just the way i like it really is yeah <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh yeah, nice. Now, get my hands cleaned up. And get them dried off. Yep, gotta get that soap off of there. Keep them from being too slick. When you're handling a straight razor, that's never good to have slick hands. There's that. All right, let's do this.
Nice. Oh yeah, that's good. There we go. All right, almost there. Very good. Another shave in the books. Yep. That is a good one. Yes, it is. Now, get that washed off. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yep. That's it right there. That's a good one. Now, we are going to put alum everywhere. And dry that off just like that. Oh, that's good. And for our aftershave tonight, Thayer's. And this is the Lemon Witch Hazel. This is lemonade for the face. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Yes, it is. Mmm. And a wonderful scent. Really is. You just put that everywhere. That is always good. Now, for our aftershave cologne thing, we are going fine snake bite. There you go. Check out that label. Is that too funny or what? I'm I'm telling you, this stuff is great. Basically, it's a little tiny bit of water, a lot of menthol, and alcohol. Yes, it is. And that is good stuff. That will give you that nice menthol hit. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. that is good. Mmm. And the scent basically is menthol. That's it. There's no other scent. Because that's all that's in it. And we're gonna top this shave off with Nivea Cooling Post Shave Bomb. It is summertime and cooling is good. Yes it is. All right. Okay, you can click on this card here to see my top two picks for beginner straight razor shavers. And I think you'll like it. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video especially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.